Hi, this tutorial introduces the stack time value spatialization component, which plots multiple key values in the same graph by stacking one on top of another along the y-axis. This is useful for visualizing the sum of key values as well as the trends in the values of the individual keys. This tool may be useful with energy simulation data such as comparing radiation through different apertures of the same space, which can then be read as a total sum. For this quick example, I'll compare the solar irradiance keys of an EPW file. So to begin, I'll start with my EPW file. I can then bring down the stacked time value spatialization component from the dhour spatialize tab and plug in the dhours as my first input. The second input calls for the keys that I would like to map and I'll begin with the direct normal irradiance, plugging it into a panel. And for the second key value, I will choose my diffuse horizontal irradiance, which I can plug into the same panel on checking multi-line data. And now that we have this list of keys, we will see a new, somewhat dense plot appear. So we can make this plot more legible by adjusting the rest of our inputs. The scale is the scale of the y-axis and defaults from zero to the maximum key value. However, we can change this to something more standard using a panel to say zero to one thousand. And plugging that in, we'll see the plot adjust. We're also able to change the location of the plot in space so that it can be better aligned with adjacent plots. To do this, we can right-click and set the base plane location to whoever we'd like. We're able to adjust the proportions of our plot using the dimensions input, and for this we'll need to use the domain squared component under the maths tab. So I'm just going to copy this panel to create a couple inputs for our U range, which I'll set to be 0 to 200 for the x-axis, and our V range to be 0 to 1 for the y-axis. Once we have this hooked up, we should see something appear that's a bit more legible. And so to further understand our outputs, I'm going to call them out more individually, a set of points and rectangular regions. And then we'll be able to turn off the preview of our stacked time value plot. And now we're able to look at the points which are representing the values of our two chosen keys. The first is plotted our direct normal irradiance, and the second is plotted above it, which is our diffuse horizontal irradiance. The rectangular regions are plotting from these key value points to our base points, which reside along the x-axis. An alternative to these rectangular regions is to use a polyline to connect these point values, and I can do that by typing polyline and connecting in our list of points, which can then generate a curve connecting the two. And with this alternative output, we wrap up the stacked time value spatialization.